Hey, this is Chris from MyCricketForum.com, and let me tell you what, this video is going to be a rough one. See what time it is? It's 8.24 at night, and it's like 91 degrees. I've been moving all day. Yeah, high of 100. I don't know where you are, but it is hot. Anyways, I'm going to try to root my Evo 3D and get a recovery installed. This is a, uh, let's see, this is like a developer's preview, uh, they call it. Uh, try to see if we can bring up the website. Bam, alright. Unrevoked and uh, Alpha Rev present Revolutionary Developer Preview. Uh, it's an S off and recovery tool. It says, at last, the time has come. Unrevoked and Alpha Rev have come together to join strings, yada, yada, yada. And um, hopefully they've uh, got this working. From what I've heard, they have. Uh, you can definitely uh, get more information and the downloads at their page at revolutionary.io. And I just unzipped all their files, and I have my phone plugged in. Uh, it's in USB debugging mode, and this is what came up right here. Uh, it says enter beta key. Uh, if you go to their website, it's going to ask your operating system. Let's see if I can let you guys see this here. Bam, right there. Operating system, Windows device. It is an Evo 3D. H boot version. Let's see, does it tell us our H boot version? ROM version 1.13. Let's see, H boot version, we'll go with 1.3. Actually, we'll go with 1.4. And then the serial number. Hotel Tango 1.6. Golf Hotel X-ray 30165 Generate key Alright, there's our key right there Let's try to enter that in here 6447 Oscar Kilo 01 November Lima Oscar Actually that's a capital Oscar Kilo 01 Capital November Lima O Capital Victor, Capital November, Capital Sierra, Capital Bravo, X-Ray. Let's try that. Beta key accepted. Thank you for participating. Acquiring root method three. So let's see uh, if anything happens on the device. In here, it just something just got plugged in. Might have been the H boot uh, drivers and whatnot. I'm guessing these uh, H boot drivers, uh, if that's what it's using, uh, are the same ones that you'll find on the Evo and whatnot when you're trying to use unrevoked. So we did have HBoot version version uh, 1.4. That was a good guess because I didn't check that before uh, <laughs> before running this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want to download internet connection required and flash? Clockwork Mod Recovery, yes. That would be a great addition to our Evo 3D. So we're going to click Y, press Enter, download recovery for your phone. So the next thing we're probably going to do to this device is put it on the $45 plan. If you guys know anything about that, you'll know that speeds are a little bit slower, however, uh, you're not at risk of going over any data caps. 
with Cricut Wireless. If you're just watching this video to see how to root your Evo 3D, you don't even have to pay attention to that part. So now it's saying ship S off. So that has completely disappeared. Uh, we're going to reboot. We don't have a command prompt on the computer anymore, so I assume it uh, completed correctly. I think I have Root Explorer installed on this device already, so we can see real quick if uh, Root has been achieved. If you look closely at this video, you'll note that the uh, device does uh, one boot loop. That's what scared me, and that's why I stopped the video so I could figure out what's going on. Uh, everything was okay, though. Uh, it booted up correctly the second time. I would suggest you uh, try to donate to these guys if you have the uh, spare cash. Uh, they've done a great service to the community. So I'm going to pause this uh, video for a second. Alright boys and girls, I'm back, and I won't lie, uh, when I'm in a rush, I speed through things, and I probably don't read as closely as I need to. Um, the device looked like it was uh, boot looping, but it boot looped once, and then it uh, booted up correctly. Uh, I tried to look for a super user permission, and I realized it wasn't there, so I went back through and tried to see if there were uh, any more instructions, and there actually are. If you go down here, and um, you look... Well, first, let's, let's go back to the uh, HTC Fastboot drivers. They have a link to the Fastboot drivers right there. They are the ones uh, from Unrevoked, if you've used those before. Also, right here, it says, uh, here's some common problems and questions. One is, does Revolutionary give me root? And the answer is no. You will need to flash this zip file from recovery. So you go to the link, and you can download that file. Uh, we've placed it on our SD card now, so we will reboot the device. Let me power it down. So I shouldn't really need it to be connected to the computer anymore. So power down. Uh, I'm thinking it's volume down and power button. So while I guess, if I'm wrong, I'm going to have to reboot this device again. Huh. Wow, well, I was wrong. Anyways, let's see. Boot Recovery Evo 3D. As a lot of us know, you can use ADB to reboot the device, but I wanted to show everyone uh, something they could easily do without uh, using the command prompt. So uh, a lot of the times in these videos it's a learning experience. I, I do them live so I go through the same things you guys uh, kind of would be doing. So fast boot is not recovery. Just power off the device completely. Do a battery pull. It says to make sure it's not a uh, hot boot. Then hold power and volume down uh, to boot. Each boot. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take this cover off. Wow, this is not fun. Just cut my fingernails last night. Makes it hard to get these otter boxes open. All right, there we go. There's our device. Pull the 
the battery. Put the battery back in. Hold down the power button or the volume down button. It's kind of hard to press without the case on. Ah, uh, we'll just put that case back on. Bam. Volume down, power button, and there we go. Go down to recovery, volume down, power button, Clockwork Mod Recovery for Alpha Rev X version 4.0.1.4. We'll go down to install zip from SD card, hit our power button, choose zip from SD card, power button. There's that SU 2.3.6.3 signed. We'll click it and then we're going to say yes, install it. Go back, reboot. Let me give this thing a quick cleaning. Put my otter box back on it. The reason why I'm probably not too scared of uh, breaking this device right now is because of uh, the Droid 3 sitting right next to me. I'd probably just use that for a little bit until I could get this one fixed. I'm sure it's not a luxury everyone has, so I would recommend watching this video, looking at the thread that goes along with it, and also looking at the developers thread at revolutionary.io what I really meant to say was developers website at revolutionary.io looks like there's a good thread at uh, XDA developers to follow along with One thing we did know, uh, our banner is back to Sprint. Uh, we had changed that to say Cricket. However, and now it's trying to do the hands-free activation. We might have to reflash portions uh, of this device. First we'll go look for Super User. And there it is, Super User. So let's go into Root Explorer. Root Explorer is asking for permission. We're allowing it. This is the first time that we've been able to do that. We've mounted uh, read writable, so looks like uh, Root is working on this device. That's excellent. So we'll be able to go on the $45 plan. Now let's uh, check for the Cricut users that have flashed this device over. See if something's up here. Twenty-one zero seven eight. So it does look like. Um, I might have to reflash this device. Uh, some of the stuff's gone back. So I would uh, load it up on QPST and uh, check your programming. But other than that, I mean, it looks like we've got a recovery installed and our HTC Evo 3D rooted. For more information about this device, flashing devices to Cricut, and more, please visit www.mycricutforum.com. Subscribe to our videos to see the latest things we're working on. And also go to www.facebook.com forward slash mycricketforum and like our page. Thanks.